five whether it's a lab, a golden retriever, even a mutt. No one knows your dog better than you. Everything from what they eat to how they act. Yeah, so uh, when it comes to your dog's breed, how sure are you that you really know that? What kind of dog do you have? Well, now there's a very easy way to find out. David Highfield is here to explain. David. Yeah, Ken and Christine, this is really cool. It's kind of like Ancestry.com for dogs. But this is about more than just tracing your dog's roots. This is a way to test your dog's DNA for free and to help scientists come up with better ways to treat all kinds of ailments in both dogs and people. What I love about Daisy is she she's just a cute little hound dog. But is that all Daisy is? The Corliss family was never really sure what kind of dog they truly had. We thought she was a red bone coon hound and a, a mix of some sort. She's a mix all right. So we found out that our red bone coon hound is actually half bloodhound and about a third boxer and another third of Heinz 57. I really wasn't expecting boxer. Seriously, boxer? The family mapped Daisy's DNA through a website called Darwin's Dogs. They simply sent in a DNA sample, got the results, and now Daisy is one of thousands of dogs enrolled in the Darwin's Dogs project. So this is our wall of dogs. Once you find out your dog's DNA, you then help researchers gather information on your dog's traits and behaviors by responding to online surveys. We can study behavior in dogs really easily by just working with the dog owners, by just asking them, with the goal of trying to look at how differences in a dog's DNA matches up with differences in their behavior. The initial goal of the project was to look at obsessive compulsive behavior in dogs, but now the study has expanded to also explore food allergies among pets. We don't understand what causes these diseases, and the only way to really find new treatments and new effective ways of actually treating them is to know what the cause is. They hope that by finding a hidden cause in dogs' genetics, it could also eventually lead to breakthroughs in the same conditions in people. Even though there's a lot of differences between dogs and humans, when you kind of look at the really kind of important things that are relevant to, to health, there's not that many differences. Dogs get a lot of the same cancers as we do. They get a lot of the same kind of psychiatric diseases as we do. They are truly, truly interested in, in figuring out more about man's best friend. Well, researchers are always looking for new dogs to join Darwin's Dogs Project. Again, it's free to sign up and have your dog's DNA tested. And you can get the DNA from the dog's saliva or hair. We have a link to their website under links and numbers at kdk.com. Kevin wow. Christine? That sounds cool. I like it. How long does it take to get the results back? You know what? The DNA testing doesn't take long at all, but this, this is becoming kind of popular. Researchers say a lot of people have been signing up. They have a bit of a backlog recently, so they say if you do sign up, just be patient about it. All right. Thanks, David. All right.